Hello, my name is Kamil and on this channel we talk about display and touch technologies. Today I would like you to present uh, HDMI series displays from RiverD. Basically the most simple displays to use uh, nowadays because they have HDMI interface. Okay, so what I have here in my hands is a um, uh, 10.1 inch 1280 by 800 resolution um, uh, IPS TFT display from Riverdy, which is a standard model, but it's equipped with the HDMI board. That is, of course, uh, driving and changing the HDMI signal to uh, LVDS required by the display itself. Okay, so let's have a look, a little bit closer look on the board itself, what we uh, have here. Uh, because today I would like to, you to present not only the HDMI display, which is uh, a simple thing to use, but the features that we additionally equipped the board here to make the display more useful for you and for your uh, applications. So what we have on the board, of course, is an HDMI connector. Uh, to connect a, a video signal. It can be a laptop or, or any kind of computer, could be a tablet or even a mobile phone with a special accessory to, to change the, the mobile phone connector to the, to the HDMI. But pretty much every device uh, with the HDMI output will be compatible with this uh, display because the display um, know itself um, its parameters. So um, on the HDMI, if we go a little bit deeper in the technical level, uh, we have an I2C that is uh, informing the device what's the resolution of this screen. So basically it should be like plug and play and your device should be able to recognize uh, resolution of the screen uh, just by connecting the HDMI which happen normally for most of your devices. Then we have a power connector uh, and here we have a wide, wide range of power. We can connect from 7 to 14 volt. Uh, here, so 12 volt will be okay, but anything like 9 or below 10 will be fine as well for uh, for this display. And the next connector here we have a USB-C, and this USB-C is for the touch uh, controller that we have here as well, because this display can be both uh, with the touch screen or without, of course. But if we if we have a touch screen, then the connection here is uh, via USB. If I will go to the other side of the board, I will see the. Uh, first connector is a keyboard extension connector because this uh, board um, has a menu like a, like a traditional monitors. So we have a buttons here. We normally no need to use that. Maybe if we want to change the brightness or something like that of a display, we may use the, the buttons here. Uh, but of course, if we'll be building the, our own monitor based on this display, uh, it may be useful to connect external keyboard to have it uh, somewhere on the housing. So there is a connector uh, to use uh, and connect the keyboard very easily. Then the next connector we have a power and PMW. Uh, this connector is intended especially to control the brightness of the screen. So if we will connect it to the um, typical industrial computer uh, main board, usually the, the boards like that have um, uh, PMW output for brightness control, then our system may control the brightness of uh, the screen through this connector. Additionally, we can power a display from this connector. So if we use this connector, uh, we can uh, deliver the power. So we don't need this uh, to connect this jack connector. Actually, they are internally connected. So the power here is exactly the same as here. So it is also 7 uh, to 14 uh, volts. And the brightness we can control uh, in two ways here. So we have a deep switch here, uh, very well described also in the data sheets. Uh, so I recommend you to go there for details. So one way is to, co uh, to control the brightness internally uh, from the menu. And the other way is to control it uh, from the PMW, so from external source. And why is this important? Sometimes um, if your device, for example, is a 24 hour um, uh, working device, maybe outside, uh, it may be useful because during the night uh, this display uh, may be too bright, yes, because our displays, our IPS um, uh, TFT line, they are all 1000 candela brightness, so pretty uh, high brightness uh, that can be uh, even sunlight readable. So if we have uh, uh, like a time where it's dark, around it may be useful to decrease uh, the brightness and then your system can control it uh, easily. And the last uh, 
connector here we have a new art but it's not uh, populated here so I have the board with this but normally it's not populated if you need a new art in your system to control some of the parameters of the screen please contact us and we can add this to your um, to, to your project let's say and that's uh, pretty much it about the connectors um, on this side and the last connector on this side is a sensor but normally it's not uh, populated as well so this is like a light sensor if you have an application where you need to control the brightness automatically uh, with the ambient light uh, please contact our team we will we'll add this feature as well uh, but the board itself is already uh, prepared for that okay so let me connect this display and show you how it works so um, I will connect uh, the, the cables right now here, power and the HDMI. So we should see the screen. Yes, so already I have uh, a screen as you see, so it's working. I just connected two of them, the power and, uh, uh, and the HDMI, and I already have the image. But of course, this is the touch version of a display. So I will connect also USB-C to have my touch working, yes. And right now I have a display with the touch. You don't see it yet, but let me take the app here. Uh, something like, for example, paint. Mm. So now I can uh, not only see the image, but also I can paint. Yes, of course, it's a multi-touch screen. Our touches are up to 10 uh, fingers, so I can put, you know, even five or more uh, fingers at the same time and draw uh, whatever I want. So basically, everything is working as i mentioned at the beginning as in plug and play yeah? so just connect uh, these three cables and we have everything working our touch screens are not regular touch screens they are industrial grade touch screens they can be used in uh, industrial environment and applications but also medical applications so they can easily work with the gloves or water on top uh, they can also work uh, with very thick glass, actually up to 15 millimeters. Then we change the firmware in our controller, our engineers uh, tune um, the firmware for you if you require the, the thicker glass or if you require the extra uh, glass on top, which is also possible. Just contact us if you need uh, anything like that and you want to maybe vandal proof uh, the display. The sensor and the display is already prepared for that. so. It's just a matter of change of design or uh, or the um, uh, or the glass um, uh, thickness. Okay, so uh, this is the 10.1 inch uh, display that we already discussed, and I have one more size, which is 7 inch display. So uh, very similar uh, board, just a little bit different design, but the same features as I mentioned. So USB-C, HDMI, power connector, of course, the keyboard, external keyboard, the PMW and the power, which are most uh, important for you, uh, connectors. And the same idea is here. So uh, we just, it's a just plug and play display. I will connect it uh, right now to show you how it works. Mm, and it should, uh, start right now let me move the app as well okay here I will move this screen over there uh, okay I have uh, image here as well on 7 inch the same idea as I said plug and play let me move the uh, paint and the same as before I can easily paint whatever I want so the touch screen is working of course uh, yeah I can for example change this and do yeah like like a regular um, touch screen already tuned for your uh, for your use case uh, if you notice anything maybe right now you may notice that I, I didn't plug the power cable here and it's uh, intended it's uh, because the 7 inch is a little bit different design than the 10 inch it require lower power uh, than the 10 inch so it's possible to power it from the USB-C cable uh, connector we don't need external power but if you have uh, actually it's recommended because uh, you need uh, a little bit lower I, as I remember than one amp of the power on from USB so maybe your computer will not be able to uh, to give that much power or you just don't want to drain the USB uh, too much 
so it's recommended also to use external power mm, uh, and of course it's still working um, uh, and now the power is being taken from this main uh, jack connector not from usb anymore but as i showed you just right now it's possible to uh, to do uh, and power it just with the USB. Okay, so uh, we have two sizes, 10.1 inch and 7 uh, uh, inch. They are the same uh, TFT glass that is an IPS, so you can see the display from all the viewing angles uh, without any uh, worrying about the grayscale inversion effect. Uh, all the colors are very uh, saturated thanks to the IPS glass and also they are both 1000 candela brightness so both can be used in very bright environment even outdoor uh, they can be considered sunlight uh, readable uh, okay and if you know our offer a little bit more you know that uh, if we have a standard product uh, like this too uh, there are several features that may not be found anywhere else so um, we try to organize things as uh, as much as possible and be um, uh, convenient for your usage. So first thing is there is no MOQ. You can buy one display, you can buy 10 pieces, you can buy 100 pieces, then you can buy uh, as many as you want. Uh, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, no MOQ here. But also what is included, uh, let's say, there are all the ver versions available. So you can buy uh, a screen uh, with the touch screen. This screen is called a touch the most basic uh, touch screen that is a rectangular size uh, of a display same as here uh, in 10.1 inch this is uh, usually used when you mount a display from the inside but we also have a version uh, that we call ux touch so it's an user experience touch of a, a display where we have the bigger glass uh, this is the only differences between the, these two. So the bigger, the bigger cover glass is more like a tablet style and you mount this from the outside of your housing with uh, the tape that is already provided on the glass. So uh, this is more like a modern design and both of these uh, sizes are available. Here I have the seven inch also the UX touch. So both are available in these options and what you may notice here is that this display is a little bit more grayish let's say then this one is more black it's because this one is with the optical bonding and it's this is one is with air bonding that means the touch screen here was directly glued to the surface of the screen and we rem remove the air that means uh, we have a better contrast lower reflections and like a higher brightness of the screen. And I personally strongly recommend uh, you to always choose the optically bonded version. Uh, it's something that looks really like a tablet. So we are used to um, optical bonding right now because all the, the mobile phones or tablets uh, you are using uh, nowadays, they are actually with optical bonding uh, like this. Before, I would say a couple of years ago, this technology was very expensive and available only for like high quantity projects. Mm, right now we bring it uh, uh, to the market with no MOQ again so you can buy one piece uh, of this display without mm, worrying about any MOQ or anything like that uh, um, uh, for your let's say uh, application so you can buy every month maybe one ten or hundred pieces uh, and we won't uh, charge you extra for that so so no, no MOQ even for optical bonding and we have more accessories so uh, beside the the, the two the basic touch screens and optical, uh, optical bonding. We also have a mounting frame, so you can buy a display with the uh, mounting hooks that is very easy to screw into your uh, device for both sizes, so for seven inch and for 10 inch as well, both are uh, the same, let's say type. Okay, so uh, we know right now how to use our um, HDMI displays. As I mentioned, they are plug and play very simple so USB-C for the touch HDMI of course for video content then the power for 10.1 inch is necessary for 7 inch is not necessary you can use the power uh, from over USB but it's recommended to use it from from jack connector one uh, more difference between two models as I mentioned the 10.1 inch was uh, 7 to 14 volt uh, power and uh, 7 inch is a little bit wider power is 7 to 30 volts so we can uh, power it even from 24 volt like automotive or mm, or anything uh, 
uh, like that so up to 30 volt for this uh, for this 7 inch okay that's all for now regarding the HDMI display so thank you for your attention please remember to subscribe to our channel to be always um, updated about our latest video also about River the University uh, where we share not the product info only but uh, technology info which I believe uh, is useful and interesting for you uh, because we share a lot of knowledge there and insights uh, from a display world that we uh, that we believe we, we are experts um, uh, about. So thank you again and see you uh, in another video.